Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing House DD again. Um, you guys seem to have watched the other two uh, higher views than I usually get on most Roblox games, so I'm going to continue making this content. Or we're going to end this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see more of this content, because I will be making more of it if you want it. And liking the video is a good way to show me that you want to see it again, so go ahead and just smash that like button. Share with a friend if you want. I mean, why not? Anyways, today we're playing the Sakura. Hold on, let me, I gotta check my phone for this. The Sakura Grove. It's the new realms map, supposedly. So, uh, so far I have seven realm keys and I could buy four more if I need it, but we're gonna go ahead and try and get the tower in this video today. I think I have a good team for this, so let's go ahead and just enter straight in. Here we go. I've never really looked around the realms area. It's kind of a sick area, but let's go ahead and get into it. This team I have down below, I think is my best team. Oh, and before we get into this, by the way, I traded for a, for free, one of you guys, one of you fans actually traded me a shiny level five demon mage so that's amazing uh thank you very much alex i don't remember your full name i'm sorry but you'll see it right in the video right here yeah that's that's pretty cool right free he gave it to me for free we were supposed to make a video. I tried to make a video of beating um, Amon Ra. We actually beat it on every mode from the easiest to nightmare. I was playing on my PC and I forgot my screen was recording my Xbox. So I didn't have any of the gameplay. I just had all the voiceovers. So that was kind of awkward, but it is what it is. Write down W Alex in the comments for him, please, because that was an actual W. It was amazing. But anyways, let's get into this. Enough yapping. They come from every location. So let's go ahead and place one right here here i think i don't know maybe they only spawn over there first let's see nope they spawn everywhere so let's go ahead and place one here as if you didn't know these areas should buff yeah there we go i'm not expecting this to be too hard i should be able to easily beat this but we're gonna go ahead and try and beat it because i want this new tower just upgrade crazy frank a bunch oh my god that guy's a lot of health why do they have so much health oh my lord now we should be good here uh, easily 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 so we go ahead and delete these and then place more crazy franks instead we'll place one of these guys because i'll buff my crazy franks and they're also good and then let's go ahead and place my other franks my holy franks i believe they're called let's go ahead and place those as those also get buffed by the creature buff let's go ahead and place my shiny demon mage which thank you very much alex you know which video i was talking about you played in it but if you guys, you know what Amon Ra is, basically. We beat it on all the modes. He pretty much carried me. He gave me this tower and carried me through him. And uh, I want to say thank you for all that. I'm sorry that I accidentally lost the footage like an idiot, but there's nothing I can do about it. Also, you guys are probably looking at this team like, wow, what, what is this guy even doing? This team is terrible, but for me, this team is the best team I got. Don't bully me. Okay, let's just go ahead and place our angels. And then pretty much that's, that's it for the upgrades. Then we just wait. I do not expect this mode to be hard whatsoever. I just expect it to be tedious because obviously it's a chance to get the tower and it's not a guarantee to get the tower as all the other realms are. But I figured I'd make this video and if we somehow end up getting the tower, I will showcase it at the end. And obviously you'll know by the title if I got it as of right now when I'm recording it. It's kind of trippy how YouTube works, but it's kind of cool at the same time. As of right now, I don't know, but you guys will know just when you click on the video by the title whether or not I say I got it and I'm showcasing it. But as of right now, we do not have it. So beating it for the first time here, we're going to showcase it if we get it, which I just said. Now I'm just repeating myself because I am dumb. As you guys have seen from other videos, I am dumb. Oh, and to top it off, recorded my Xbox screen instead of my PC screen, adding to the I am dumb thing. I figured I'd make another video in between major updates. There's kind of, This is kind of like a little update that they put in in between, but figured I'd make a video on it because I was waiting for another big update to make a video, maybe an opening or something, but they have stuff cooking up. They're cooking some stuff up. I'm going to let them cook. And then, of course, I'm going to be making a video on whatever big update they release in the future. But I figured I'd make this video to make up for the video that I meant to record on Amon Ra and did not record like a dummy. 
gonna go ahead and cut to when the boss spawns so you guys can see the boss spawning instead of me talking my butt off and yeah okay so it is boss wave uh i did find out that it is a lot better to put my kairos over here my aoe because all the stuff in the back is basically really weak so put all your aoe on this corner you're gonna be playing this mode um here's the boss and there goes the boss we did not get him we just got a premium urn and an epic urn that, that sucks but we got the our uh, I, I don't I don't think that does anything, but we got the art. It says we beat it. We look into my inventory. Do you guys know what the art does? Does it do anything? Is, I don't know. Maybe you can put it in your your like your room thing that they have in this game. I'm not sure. Why did I just go over to here? Not where I'm going. There we go. That's the right area. Not the last area that I was trying to go to. What the heck was I doing? So this mode indeed is easy. So I don't expect the tower to be any good. But I kind of want to get it just to show it. You know what I mean? I actually haven't got the other two towers. If you guys know if the other two towers are any good, let me know. Because I haven't got them. Because I just haven't playing enough i plan it on getting them in the future of course but as of right now i do not have them here we go again attempt two i don't even expect to really get it in this amount but it's worth a try because like i've said many times over why not obviously we have learned from the last game to place our towers in a different manner which obviously we are doing boom 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 and then place these guys on this corner in reality i could probably just place these guys like at the spawn points and they do more damage but better to be safe than sorry okay so all my towers are maxed now we just wait till the end oh and if you guys didn't notice i got nightmare on kairos let's just say his stats are pretty nuts and he's i don't even think i have any towers buffing him other than demon mage like if i had other towers buffing what i believe he is like creature and stuff like that his damage is insane that i just throw that out there because that's the only tower I've ever got Nightmare on. If you don't believe me, it's the truth. My luck is terrible in every game I play. You go back a couple videos and watch my urn opening of the Cryptarch urn thing, you'll see my luck. You'll see how bad my luck is. Made a dumb decision and paid the dumb price. <laughs> so this reason right here is why I told you to move your aoe's if you're playing this mode and if you need any help then move your aoe's over to this corner because pretty much if you have good other towers they're going to be wasting time trying to kill all the spam right here if you place them back here because these back two paths will basically never reach like the end of the their spawn path they'll never reach this middle path you have really good towers so place your aoe over here to get all the spam dead especially on the boss wave because if you don't kill the spam for the boss wave then you're just wasting time shooting at stuff that you shouldn't be shooting at instead of the boss by the way this boss looks sick i don't know if this is the boss of every mode but like a big skeleton guy big skeleton big skelly man with like a thingy on his head i don't even know what it is i can't see it because of the just like a little glowing gem or something but he is dead for the second time and we got nothing but another realm key nice nice all right round three i'm not gonna bore you guys with me talking over and over so i'm just basically gonna show you you know a little in between and then the end results i'm not gonna make you watch all of this oh my god 50 hit points don't let too many of them through holy cow holy cow <laughs> Okay, so now it is boss wave on the third attempt. Go ahead and just let you guys watch this one because boss wave is about the most entertaining out of all of them. The rest of the waves are pretty darn boring, ain't gonna lie. Go, they always taking out all the spam. You guys seen this twice now. The freaking good towers are taking out the boss, even though the, uh, the AoE towers are kind of good towers too. But there you go, and he's dead, and we got nothing. All we got was another premium urn, which seems to be a thing that you get every single time. Okay, so if you look at the bottom left, a uh, premium urn is actually guaranteed, and I managed to get a realm key instead of the other 5% tower. So that sucks, but oh well, I guess. Back into it we go. Temp number four. I'm trying to get Sakura. Sakara. I'm probably butchering that name so badly. I would think it's Sakura. Something like that. Sakura. Because it's not Sakor. An O. Like Sakura. What? Don't judge me. Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and done uh, this. So basically all my uh, 
beam towers are back here on this one buff and then all my aoe towers are around here so you see the range it covers basically this spawn all the way around here and then i place my other ones over here and they basically cover this spawn all the way around here and over here pretty much i could just kill stuff faster and make the round end faster i figured that might be more helpful than doing what i was doing before and being safe i'll get back to you guys when we're on the boss wave to see what rewards we get for the fourth fourth time all right so now we're on boss wave for the fourth time and as you guys see my aoe is doing exactly what i wanted it to by killing all the spam faster therefore we could target the boss earlier which is perfect and i actually am doing damage to the boss earlier with these aoe towers so that's cool there we go once he gets in the beam range he basically gets deleted right before he even gets to this path Oh, okay. Well, I just skipped that, but all I got was a premium urn again. So let's go ahead and retry for the fifth time. Okay, here we go with number five. Fifth time's the charm. I know that's not how the saying goes. It's supposed to be third time's the charm, but we're on the fifth one. So please. A few moments later. Okay, and now we are on boss wave on attempt number five. Let's head and see what we get. Here we go. He is about dead. And we got, we got the urn. Guys, if we get five... Lucky number five, apparently. Wow, I was not expecting to get the urn that quickly. I was actually expecting to play at least 10 games before I got it, but I actually have it now. So let's do not do like we did another time and go ahead and equip it before we open it. Look at that urn. That's pretty cool, dude. That is a cool looking urn. Matches my skin. Perfect, right? <laughs> Anyways, I would save it for a two times luck, uh, shiny luck event, but I, I, I don't care. I'm here to showcase it, show you guys if it's worthy of you playing and getting or not. First, we're going to go ahead and open all of these premium urns, because why not? Go ahead and hit the first one, and we got nothing per usual. And then we go ahead and open the second one and probably get nothing. <laughs> open the third one, probably get nothing. And then we open the fourth one and you wouldn't be believe it if I said it. We would get, oh, we actually got an epic. I'm surprised. And then five, fifth times the lucky charm number. Oh, wow. Okay. Wasn't that bad actually. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and open this urn that I have in my hand right here. Here we go. The Sakura urn from the Sakura Grove. Three, two, one, open. And we got... Sakura arcane that's the that's the uh rarity i've never gotten one of them so like i said if you guys have gotten the other two let me know if they're worth it or not because i have no idea if they are um i'm dumb i'm gonna go ahead and just filter i, I can't filter actually it won't let me on xbox we're gonna go ahead and find it and cut right back to it so i don't look as dumb as i probably look right now okay there we go we're we are dumb she's right here there's 282 that exist i don't know if it's a she or a he i should whatever let's view it 30,000 damage with 0.1 speed. It is actually an AOE tower. Um, 18 range. That doesn't seem the best. Let's go ahead and put an enchant. Maybe we'll get it. In, I'm only going to do like 10. But whatever we get in the first 10 is going to be her enchant because I don't think she's necessarily worthy of keeping. I mean, it's a good tower. It's for people that don't have really good AOE towers. She is a decent tower. The ability, there is no like multiplier ability there is the tags are just arcane so can't really buff her in any way read the lore if you guys are interested cloaked in the spirit of the cherry blossom the enigmatic warrior channels the ancient rites of the fox spirit sakura relies on his wits okay there we go so it is it is a guy his wits and the arcane whispers of nature to cleanse the land of reawakening evils i can throw some enchants we'll waste 10 enchants on it probably don't need to but we are going to sake of the video three four Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. We'll do bloodlust too. That's fine. Okay. And then we will go and equip Sakura, Sakura, Sakara. And then we'll go ahead and go into the realm. Maybe we'll get another another shot at one of them. All right. So what we're gonna do, instead of just placing them and upgrading them, we're gonna go ahead and place uh five of them because I believe there's like five upgrades, so we could show each stage one by one. Oh wow 3400 with 0.1 speed and then we go ahead and upgrade the second one it's 6900 with 0.1 speed I don't think the speed or the range changes so we're just gonna look at the damage uh it goes from 3400 to 6900 and this is remember with bloodlust 2 go ahead and go to third upgrade 13.8 go to the fourth upgrade 
23 and the last upgrade 34. Those are the all the levels. This is the showcase here. We're going to go ahead and finish beating this mode. And here we go. Here's the boss 3.5 mil. It's pretty dang easy quick and easy kill on Gesha boss. Boom. We actually didn't get it, but got another premium run. All right. So that's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, showcasing of Sakura. Sakura. Here we go again. Once again, 34,500 damage with 0.1 speed and 18 range. It is a AOE. So if you guys don't have an AOE and you want an AOE, it's I mean, not considered the best, but it is an AOE. Go ahead and get Sakura. Um, let's go ahead and open this one premium urn that we got. Maybe we'll get a Kairos. No, we got a Detective Scully. Before we leave, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below if you guys want to see more content like this from specifically this game, because you guys seem to enjoy watching this game. And with that being said, it's been real and it's been fun. So that's me. It's been real fun. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.